Welcome to Science Rocks. I'm Laura Spence. It is a truly historic day for STEM around the world, and we're experiencing it firsthand with the students here at Morgan Fitzgerald Middle School. Well, think about it. This is something that uh, that it hasn't happened in our, our country in more than 99 years. All right, um, and although it's not, a, it's not going to be a full solar eclipse, but a partial here, it's about 84 percent. It's one of those things that ignite excitement, scientific excitement. I can tell you as a 10 year old child, I witnessed a full solar eclipse when I was stationed, my father was in the army, when I was stationed in Germany, and it's something I'll never forget. It incited a lifelong love of science um, that lives to this day, and it's something that I wanted the opportunity for our students to experience as well. It's pretty cool. It's cool. Yeah. But it looks like a block of cheese. <laughs> Well, the first thing uh, that, that we wanted to make sure we did was ensure safety of our students. Um, and so thanks to the generosity of a number of our parents um, and several of our business partners, we were able to purchase more than 200 pair of Eclipse viewing glasses. Okay, so safety obviously was a primary consideration. And take off your glasses. Don't look out, but look around you at the light that we are getting right now. It's like it's dust, like dawn. There's a breeze that picked up that was not wow. out here. 40 minutes ago, so everything is changing. The energy that we're getting from the sun is being blocked. Wow. The last person you say, oh my God, that was so cool, was a teacher. And the time before that was a student. Um, and so the one thing it does is, is that it unites us it, um, in our trek to be lifelong learners. Um, so we've had teachers covering each other's classrooms, bringing more classes out here uh, than had scheduled, been scheduled to come out, which is awesome. Um, primarily so that the teacher could come out and take a look at what's going on out here. It's really awesome. Now you're out here with your students and it's a once of a lifetime opportunity. How do you feel about it? Oh, this is great. Oh my God, it's so exciting. I had the, um, the NASA live feed going with a split screen with what um, Tampa Bay Times is doing too. We, we went through the path of totality and now we're here and this is amazing and my kids are making these awesome organizers about their 2017 um, Eclipse experience. And so I told them, I said, document everything. Let's write it down because in 40, 50 years from now, you can share that. Can you see it? Yes, it looks like a moon. I'm so excited we do this stuff when we was in school. We have it live streaming in the auditorium as well, so that all those students who did not get permission slip signed to come out and watch the viewing, they're able to watch it being live streamed in school. Yeah, it's coming in from the right side. It's really it very. Like Pac-Man. Yeah, it does look like Pac-Man, doesn't it? Oh man, that's cool. That's awesome. That's awesome. Well, honestly, I thought it was pretty cool because you got to see a sun in a way that you couldn't see it before, because you could see the shape of it where the moon was covering up. All right, so you just got to witness the solar eclipse. What are your thoughts? I think it's really cool, like a one-in-a-lifetime thing, and it's going to be in my memory for a long time. Now, how do you connect what you just saw out here to what you've been doing in your um, in your science classes? Well, we've been learning about how the uh, eclipse and not wearing proper glasses can hurt your eyes and how it's going to go across the whole United States. It's cool. It's really cool. Yeah. What does it look like? It looks like... Like a like a quarter mile thing. Yeah. I don't know what you call it, but it looks, it looks like the Apple logo. Yeah. Our out of the world adventure continues on Science Rocks as we hear from retired NASA astronaut Nicole Stott, who joins me on a Women to STEM panel discussion aimed to inspire girls to pursue their STEM dreams. Science Rocks continues in a moment. <laughs> 